Hello everybody, my name is Mazaret Castellanos. I'm working in the Polytechnic University in Madrid in a very new institute. It's the Center of uh, Biomedical Technology where we, uh, we work in different groups. One of them is the Laboratory of Cognitive and Computational Neuroscience where we have a new uh, magnetoencephalography system. Uh, one of the projects, uh, we have two different uh, lines principally where we are working is uh, one of them is uh, the, the study of uh, Alzheimer's disease, mild cognitive impairment and how do, in they develop to Alzheimer's disease. But other of the projects I'm working in, in this is uh, uh, to study the brain plasticity, how the, the brain recovers after, a, after a brain injury, in this case after a traumatic brain injury. Uh, we have this uh, uh, magnetoencephalography system in Madrid. The principal advantage of this system is that we have a very good uh, temporal resolution. It allows us to study the oscillation of the, of the brain and uh, uh, principally for us, uh, uh, we can study the functional connectivity. That means the uh, statistical relations between different parts of the, of the brain. Uh, we apply different methods of uh, functional connectivity, both in sensors and source space, and then we apply uh, grab theory me uh, measures to estimate, to, to characterize the topography, the topology the, of, the, of this network. Uh, just to, to show you some of the results that uh, we have, uh, we study, uh, we scan people after a traumatic brain injury and the same people uh, after a neuro, neuro rehabilitation treatment. We wanted to see how these uh, networks recover uh, after the neuro rehabilitation in different spectral bands. That we see, for example, is that uh, uh, these patients, after the traumatic brain injury, they have a topolog um, pathological increase of uh, connectivity in a slow wave and uh, a topological decrease of the connectivity in, in higher uh, spectral bands. What we see is that this, uh, the functional connectivity patterns recover after the neuro rehabilitation treatment and uh, more interestingly that this, uh, the recovering of this topology uh, evolves parallel with the cognitive recovery. That means that those persons who who more uh, improve in terms of the neuropsychological test that they, uh, they, they observe, they lose or they gain more connectivity or they restore the topologic uh, of, uh, of control um, uh, patterns. Uh, the, the principal basis that uh, we think uh, here in this project, in the brain injury project and also in Alzheimer's disease, is that we think that a normal synchrony could be one of the causes of the cognitive dysfunction and more interestingly is uh, to correlate this change at the topological level with the, uh, with the change that we observe in, 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 in cognitive deficits. Um, well, this says we are very open to collaborate, principally with the MEG groups that they here there is in, in Boston, and of course uh, with everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you.